Welcome back to Brit's Beat, everybody. Today we are going to paint night together again. This will be my fourth paint night, but this will be Josh's first. Tonight is a paint night held in Steinbach at the France Motor Inn, uh, and it is a fundraiser for Josh's cousin. Um, now I'm going to explain what's going on with her to the best of my ability. I haven't spoken to her firsthand about it, but I've heard things through family members um, as to what's going on with her. Uh, to my understanding, please family, don't judge me if I'm wrong. It's the only things that I've heard. To my understanding, she has seven different strains of Lyme disease and her life has taken a huge hit because of it. She used to be a realtor. Well, she still is a realtor, but she's not able to work right now. Her boyfriend, Jason, great guy. Uh, he has taken a lot of time off work to take care of her. Her condition has gone downhill rapidly. Uh, she's having seizures, mobility issues, weakness. Um, I'm really not sure of the extent of things, but I know that it's, it's not good. Uh, so she's got Lyme disease and here in Canada, a lot of the treatments, to my understanding, that are used to treat Lyme disease are naturopath treatments, uh, the most beneficial, and healthcare does not cover that. So she's having to pay for a lot of things out of pocket and she's not able to work right now. Aside from that, she also has two children. Uh, one I believe is a preteen and another is in her early teens and they are having to watch their mother suffer and she's unable to do a lot of things with them now and it's really just a really sad situation so tonight uh family members have put on this paint night fundraiser for her at the france motor inn as i said and we're really excited to go out and see her and see family and help support her there is also a GoFundMe page for Felicia. It is called Felicia's Fight with Lime. Uh, it's a picture of Josh's cousin. She's brunette, really, really beautiful girl. Uh, but Lyme disease has taken a toll on her health and it, it shows, unfortunately. Um, she's still very, very beautiful on the inside. Really, really fun personality. So if anybody would like to donate to that, I will put the link in the description below. Um, don't feel any pressure to do so, but if you're able and would like to help Felicia out, that would be great. So tonight's going to be a lot of fun. We're really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing if my husband has any artistic ability or not. I'm looking forward to that too. <laughs> Wish us luck. So we just dropped off the truck at the France Inn. We came in separate vehicles because Josh, after paint night, is going to go and work out. And I'm gonna go home and unload groceries and hopefully have time to work out myself. But by then, the pups are gonna need some dinner. So before we go to paint night, we're gonna go to Superstore and do us some shopping. We're out of coffee again, guys. That's a problem. It's a huge problem. I've explained to them before that it's the most essential component to a household. Well, I guess people to pay the bills. We have arrived at the Superstore. The real Canadian Superstore as opposed to the fake one. All right guys, Josh has got to go get some jeans for work because he's got none left. And I need to go and uh, get us some groceries. So we'll see you guys at paint night. You can sort of almost tell what that is. It looks great! Mm -hmm. Thank you. My husband, ladies and gentlemen. And then I'm doing mine the opposite way. Cheryl's working on hers. 
Rose and Mums is down there too. There's Mum. <laughs> there she is. Wow, everybody's looks really good so far. This is a huge class. And uh, Felicia. I don't know where Felicia went to. Yeah. Oh, there's Felicia, the lady of the hour. The fundraisers for Felicia. And uh, cousin Sheila is there. Candace, my boss, and her husband are sitting right in front of us. That's actually Josh's cousin and wife. The whole family. We got a couple of aunts sitting in front of us. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I'm having fun. Absolutely. I did not think you'd be doing this good. Yeah? I, I'm not saying I doubted you, just I didn't I didn't know if art was an interest. I guess everybody's their their own worst critic. I, I don't Absolutely. Know. You'll love it once you take it home though. That's the thing. You always love it more when there's nobody else's to compare it to. True. And mine's the opposite direction, so you can't even compare it. Yeah, that's true. It's been a hard day. Jay and I have a really hard time asking for help. So this really means so much to us and it's helping out big time so just thanks that's a lot <laughs> thanks <laughs> the finished product that one's mine and this one's josh's well done babe josh is with his twin right now my other twins, my stunt double. Stunt, stunt double, yeah, the tall stunt double. The, old, the older version. <laughs> we are just back home now, and uh, we're just admiring our work. And actually, they look even better now that they're dry. We are going to put them up in our bedroom. I can't believe I did that. I mean, it's not as good as yours, but you can tell it's an owl on a tree. You Mind blasting. Wow. I think you did a great job. I think they're going to look awesome side by side in our bedroom. I like her colors that she did on her owl there. Show them that real close. That's incredible colors. My favorite is feathers. I like doing feathers. Feathers are fun. I like his navy though. The navy is really cool. Mine's this just, camera doesn't even do it justice. Mine's a scruffy trucker owl. Trucker owl and he comes home to his, his wife and she's got the house all nicely decorated. Yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing how everybody grasps what the artist or the instructor is saying so differently. Hey, like everybody's concept is so different, but mm -hmm. I think that they all turned out great. I forgot to sign mine though. That's a first. Oh, I didn't sign mine either. I have to do it with the Sharpie. A very nice Sharpie. We have many, many Sharpies from our wedding still. That's right. <laughs> Not for face painting. That's right. <laughs> so it was a very emotional evening for Felicia. She gave a thank you at the end there. I don't know if you guys could hear it or not. I'm still going to put it in. She said it was very hard for her and Jason, her boyfriend, to accept help, but she really appreciated tonight. And I hope she had a good time. Again, if you want to donate to the GoFundMe, I have the link below in the description. No pressure. Again, just if you want to. This hallway is starting to look like a gallery. And that's where they ended up, side by side and in love. We even measured this time and like leveled them first. We didn't just eyeball. So this was my first painting ever. The rooster one that I made a vlog about was my second. The sunset one that I did last vlog is down there. And then the owls. And as we paint more and more, we'll probably just have to rotate them as we go or Get rid of the ones we don't like, give them to people. So thank you so much for watching everybody. We had a great time tonight. Josh wants to go to more paint nights now. I've created a monster. I actually had fun. Yeah, it actually turned out. Yeah, it was a great time. I've always wanted to go to one of these with him. So thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.